Well, all right, so I now have the pleasure to introduce you to uh, someone that I've interviewed on a couple of occasions, and I, I love what she does because uh, this is, we're talking about the Holy Spirit, and uh, you know, we're talking about Arise Ministries, which has been going on now for a couple of years at Mary Immaculate Parish and Farmers Branch. Uh, she teaches uh, and she leads the Holy Spirit 101 seminar. Is that the right word? Yes, so, sir. Anyways, Tori, thanks for uh, uh, joining me, and congratulations. How old is uh, your baby, Forge? Forge is uh, three months old on February the 5th. Okay, three months old. Okay, thanks to your husband here. Because if you didn't have your husband here, this would be really complicated. I know, but, the, uh, the two men in my life, they're walking around the office right now. Yeah, uh, and I love me. where his name comes from, and many people will be familiar with his namesake. So uh, where did the Forge come from? His godfather, which is Father Michael Forge. Yeah, who is the pastor of Mary Macklet Parish uh, yes, in, in Farmer's Branch. Great, great guy. And so uh, he's, you, got, you know he's covered with prayer. So you got a <laughs> holy priest that's, uh, that's, that's praying for him, his godfather. All right, so tell, uh, uh, let's Let's assume that people listening don't know anything about uh, Arise Ministries and Holy Spirit 101. And just give us the basics. What is it? Absolutely. We are a Catholic organization that uh, is determined to uh, train and equip lay Catholics in how to operate in the charisms, the Pauline charisms of the Holy Spirit, according to Orthodox Catholic teaching. So we do series of classes, retreats, seminars. Uh, that teach Catholics how to uh, pray on prayer teams, how to pray for healing. Um, yeah, and, and again, and, and operating yeah. the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Right, right. Because we, um, and I, I know my questions are kind of uh, kind of basic, but when we're baptized, correct me if I'm wrong, we are given the gifts of the Holy Spirit, right? Is that is that right? We, we're given the theological virtues, and we, when do the when do the gifts come? Do they come in confirmation? Do we have them when we're baptized? <laughs> or what, what, and, but we don't always exercise all of them. So to kind of explain that. Well, I think it's a common misnomer that we possess the gifts in general. The church okay. teaches that when we're baptized, we receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit, okay. the giver of the gifts. Yeah. So theoretically, because you have the fullness of the Holy Spirit within you by virtue of your baptism, sealed in your confirmation, you have the ability to yield to any gift of the Holy Spirit because you have the giver of the gifts, the, the Spirit Himself. Okay, and when you say yield, that there's a there's a passivity there. It's not like I'm going to go grab this one. And <laughs> I want to speak in tongues and I want to heal. So how does that work? And God distributes His graces as He will. And how do we know if we have that particular gift? Absolutely, I love that you said God distributes His graces as He wills. I mean, that's a direct quote from Lumen Gentium, oh, okay. a Vatican II document uh, that, that talks specifically about the charismatic gifts. The reality is, because we possess the Holy Spirit, I, I, I prefer to use the term yield, and really what that means is we cooperate with divine grace. So our whole lives we're cooperating yeah. with, with divine grace, but when it comes to the gifts of the Holy Spirit, we're cooperating in a supernatural way. We're using our natural faculties, our, our natural personhood, uh, we're praying, using our voice, our mind, our thoughts, and the power of the Holy Spirit moves through us, and God achieves something supernatural uh, to reach the person that we're praying for. And sometimes we can even unknowingly block that, that, that the yielding that we should have. We may not say, I don't want it, I don't <laughs> want it, but just uh, how, uh, you know, I, I, I teach confirmation class at my, my parish, and I do the best I can. I'm, I'm no Tory Harris, but I'm, I'm trying to teach them about the Holy Spirit and what's going to happen to confirmation. I use that little chocolate milk demonstration. You know about that? I love the about, chocolate about, milk Yeah, okay, good. I'm, glad, I, I'm glad you approve of that. Yeah, because, yeah, you got the you got the, the white milk, and then you pour in the, the Hershey's chocolate. It sits at the bottom, so you've got it, but until you stir it up. Is that a good demonstration, uh, for especially for kids? I think it's an excellent demonstration for kids. It's not, it's, there's some theological issues that theologians <laughs> at, you know, at a university yeah. are going to debate, yeah. but I think it, it paints a really nice picture of the utility, or, or misutility of the gifts. Yeah. The reality is, uh, you mentioned earlier when I walked in that the last time we had a conversation I had said something where you had said, Tori, I don't think I have the gift of healing, and my question was, well, have you ever prayed mm -hmm. that someone be healed? Um, when it comes to the chocolate milk and the chocolate, the reality is, is the Holy Spirit's always there. The potential to operate in the gifts of the Holy Spirit are always there. But what's not necessarily always there is our willingness to cooperate with the yeah. Lord and our willingness to ask the Lord to, to use us as an instrument. And, and that's where I, I think the chocolate milk theory or, or demonstration is, is very, very helpful. Yeah, right. It's wasted potential. Okay, all right. Tori Harris is my guest. And we got a few more minutes with her Arise Ministries. It's out of Mary Macklin Parish in Farmers Branch, and she's the director. And uh, Holy Spirit 101 uh, is what she also leads as well. And uh, we're, we're broadcasting live Mid Cities Dental. And I just want to invite you to come on out here. And uh, Tori also has a, a book of hers that she generously has given me to give out. As if we, one more thing that we can 
give out during this hour. Holy Spirit 101 uh, by Victoria Harris. Do you know her? No, I'm kidding. Uh, so yeah, it's by, by Victoria Harris and uh, how to unlock the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Because when I even hear that, unlocking the gifts of the Holy Spirit is so exciting because I, you know, um, the, the, the whole saying about the glory of God is a human person fully alive. And we all want to be fully alive, but I think this is a big part of it, is that if we do cooperate with God, He will make our, our life alive, but we have to be willing to let Him. So tell us about the book, and anybody that comes by during this hour, the first person to come by and say, I want that book, they can claim it, right? Absolutely. Okay, so what's, tell us more about it. The book is, it's the, it, it is a, an assimilation of the Catholic Church's teachings on the gifts of the Holy Spirit, but specifically how to operate in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. There, there are plenty of books about who the Holy Spirit is. Yeah. Uh, a lot of cardinals have written about the Holy Spirit is wind, he's fire. We have lots of confirmation material about some of the Isaiah gifts of the Holy Spirit, like peace and uh, long suffering and knowledge. But this book specifically is how do we apply the gifts of the Holy Spirit in a practical manner when we're praying for other people. So the focus is prayer teams, how, how we operate on a prayer team, or how we intercede for someone else. And it goes through the nine Pauline charisms, which are word of knowledge, tongues, interpretation of tongues, healing, miracles, a prophetic word, so uh, and then word of wisdom, uh -huh. and discernment of spirits. Oh, very nice. So okay. it, the, the focus is on those nine gifts, but specifically how to use them in a Catholic context. All right, very good. The book is called Holy Spirit 101, How to Unlock the Gifts of the Holy Spirit by uh, Tori Harris. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can have it if you come by. Uh, if you come by, you can also have a chance to win that gift card to uh, Walmart and Chick-fil-A. You get food. You get to meet a whole bunch of nice people. I mean, why would you not come by? <laughs> and so the first person that comes by and says, hey, I want that book. Uh, we'll give you, and I bet you Tori will even uh, sign it if you'd like. All right, so tell us uh, in, the, in our closing few minutes here about what's going on at Mary Immaculate. Is it branching out to other parishes perhaps in the diocese? Uh, and how people can come out to one of these events and maybe when the next one is. Absolutely. Well, what we're doing is we're training up people to operate, to pray in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. It's now spread to a lot of different churches. We have a once a month worship night where we have lay people, we have a band and adoration and, and lay people pray for others for healing and some really amazing miracles that have come forth from that. Our next one is on August the 21st at Mary Immaculate at six o'clock. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh. February. <laughs> February. Say, wow. That's got, I, I, don't, I don't want to think of August. Um, okay. February 21. So it's next Wednesday at six o'clock. We're offering free dinner. Oh wow. Uh, at six for anyone who wants to come. Uh, at seven o'clock is when our worship starts. Uh, another church in the area in Addison, All Saints, they're having their night of healing. Same concept: adoration, confession, prayer teams, worship music. The very, very next night, August the 20th. Uh, February 22nd at 7 o'clock. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, you got somewhere oh. in your mind. I think you're thinking about your summer vacation. <laughs> <laughs> and and Good Shepherd Catholic Community, they're doing quarterly events where okay. they're offering adoration and, and prayer teams are there praying. St. Right. Francis in Frisco is following their lead. Uh, they're starting a night called Rejoice. So we're, we're starting to see all over the area these different nights of healing where lay people are coming and praying for healing. What's also really exciting is uh, St. Anne's and Mary Immaculate right now, we're also doing after mass prayer ministry. And okay. I believe uh, St. Francis, is it Good Shepherd, I think? Martha, you're doing intercessory. Martha's right. here in the studio. Okay. Or yeah. in the, the dentist's office. <laughs> we turned the office into my studio, haven't we? So okay, now, is yeah. there a website where people can go and find all these locations? Yes. Or, what, or Facebook or what? I try to keep everything together at ariseworshipministry.com. So if there's a local parish in our diocese, who's offering intercessory prayer ministry, yeah. after mass prayer ministry, private prayer ministry, whatever it is, or, or a class about how to learn and operate in the gifts of the Spirit. We try to put it all on AriseWorshipMinistry.com on our events page, so you can check that out. All right, AriseWorshipMinistry.com. Now, is Arise uh, Ministries, is that something you started? Is it part of a bigger, like, international or national group? Or how does it fit into the, uh, to the, you know, the broader church? Absolutely. Well, Arise Worship Ministry, we are a ministry of Mary Immaculate Parish. Okay. My hope and joy is that we remain always a parish-based ministry, but with a, a global church influence and a global church perspective. Yeah. We, we, we exist at Mary Immaculate. I'm supported by the parishioners of Mary Immaculate, 
but my mission isn't just to serve the people of Mary Immaculate, it's to serve our diocese and the larger church as well. Yeah, let me ask you a general question. I probably asked you this before, but uh, we got a new audience and all that. Uh, the, the, the quote, charismatic movement, so so to speak, you know, they had the Duquesne uh, event uh, back in the late 60s, and then it seemed like, I remember my parents got very involved in the charismatic movement. It was the uh, Bobby Kavanaugh, and here locally it was huge, and there were meetings over at Bishop Lynch, and now at Mount St. Michael, and, and then it seemed to kind of uh, taper off a bit the last 20 years or so. Do you feel like the, the movement, so to speak, is coming back, or where more people are really tapping into these gifts and what you're the kind of thing that you're doing? Absolutely. I, and, and we have data to prove it. Yeah. I think it's definitely it's one of the fastest growing movements in the Catholic Church right now. And this idea of praying for the gifts of the Holy Spirit, it's the fastest growing movement in Christianity. Pentecostalism right, is growing in leaps and bounds all over the country, uh, especially amongst young adults in the United States. The largest conversion rates to Christianity that we're seeing are actually coming from people who had no faith uh, becoming Protest, uh, what is it? P Protestant Pentecostals, yeah. and then Catholic Charismatics. Okay, uh, that's where we're seeing a lot of people coming into the church through that. Very nice. Uh, well, thank you so much. Is there anything else that I didn't ask you that you want to mention, uh, or did we cover everything? <laughs> well, if if you want to get a taste, if you want to, if, if women that are listening, wives that are listening, and you want your husbands to get a taste of uh, prayer ministry, uh, I would really recommend the Catholic Brothers for Christ, uh, the new conference that's coming up. They are going to have a bunch of awesome men serving on prayer teams most of them if not all i think have been through our holy spirit 101 program so yeah you're more than what if you're kind of on the fence and you're not sure about it come experience it for yourself at one of our events or at the catholic brothers for christ conference coming up all right uh great tori harris thank you so much director of arise ministries mother of a, a new little little boy so congratulations on that uh, i know that's I mean, he's so cute <laughs> <laughs> all right so and again that website ariseworshipministry.com and uh, come on and get her book holy spirit 101 i know my wife is listening right now and she really she's you know has a, a history of being charismatic and she loves this stuff and she's read some material that you have written as well so how to unlock the gifts of the Holy Spirit Holy Spirit 101 by Tori Harris come by and get it actually has a quote from Father Michael Forge uh, your son's godfather there on the, on the front cover uh, so thank you so much good talking to you and congratulations on all the exciting things happening in your life ariseworshipministry.com Tori Harris director of the uh, Arise Ministries out of Mary Immaculate but as she mentioned it is spreading to all kinds of parishes across the Metroplex and maybe you're at a parish she didn't mention and you'd like to bring it there well you can contact her as well do you have contact information or just go to the website i would go to the website all right so thank you so much 